Happy Thursday, guys. Um, and just to add on to Grace's post on Monday, I love cake too. See this t-shirt? Grace actually got it for me. It's from Barney, so it's fashionable. Grace and I both share a sweet tooth. I love dessert. I actually got mad at a friend once. We've been friends for like, I don't know, 27 now. So I would say at least 13 years. And I got mad at her because she eats really slowly. And we were at dinner once at this really nice restaurant. I was so looking forward to dessert. And then she ate so slowly that we didn't have time to get dessert. We had to leave. We had to run back home to go watch the next Iron Chef. I don't know, foodie alert. That actually brings me into my subject for this week, which is I love pop culture, I love media, and I am a total geek. Since I was little, I was like, geeking out about, um, I was a friend's freak. I call myself a friend's freak, but I love friends. I love the episode. I love the episodes. I can quote them. I can still quote them. I know exactly which season, which episode was, and blah, blah, blah. And that was kind of my intro to pop culture and American culture because I grew up in Taiwan. Grace was actually the one that introduced me to friends. I didn't know anything about it. And she started watching the episode, um, I remember this, the one with the football. It wasn't just the first time I got exposed to friends. It was also the first time I got exposed to American football. So I was just like, what is this? And I know what some people are thinking. Oh, just because you like friends doesn't make you a geek. Well, I told you that was my gateway drug. Because of friends, I got into Will and Grace. Okay, stay with me, stay with me. Will and Grace, whose line is it anyways? And that kind of opened me up to other TV shows. So I started watching Buffy. I tried watching Lost, didn't get into it. I tried watching Heroes, didn't really get into it. I know, I know. But now I'm really into Doctor Who. I made my own sonic screwdriver out of the 3D printer at office and then I painted it. See? It doesn't have the light bulb thingy just because I didn't know how to print that piece on it. But, see? Grace and I both have been reading manga and since we were little, everything. We had like the ones that are about like ghosts and supernatural to crime fighting to romance. We love the romance. And all this different stuff. And we watch anime too. I watch Naruto and so does Grace. And I also watch Attack on Titans and stuff like that. So anyways, basically, I geek out. And two books that I started reading that are kind of in the geek genre is Geektastic, which is a collection of short stories written by nerds that we love, like John Green and um, Holly Black and Cecil Castellucci. Also this, How to Safely Live in a Science Fictional Universe. And this is actually a novel about a guy who's a time traveler and he, work, he lives and he kind of works and lives in this time machine that his dad builds and he's kind of trying to find his dad and he uses his dad's manual when his dad wrote How to Live Safely in a Science Fictional Universe. Um, my co-worker who is a, I would say, I would like to think she was a blonde cheerleader or something like that, because like she seems that type, not to stare pigeonhole, but just to give you that look of what she is. She saw me reading this, and she saw me holding this, because I got this at work, and it came delivered at work. And they're like, oh my god, that's so nerdy of you. So I was like, huh, am I a geek or am I a nerd? Am I a geek or am I a nerd? So that made it this whole soul searching thing wrong. By soul searching, I mean, Google search. Like there's all this stuff about geeks versus nerds and there's so much gray area in between so I don't know if I'm a geek or a nerd. I don't like to think of myself as a nerd though because I'm not academic. I'm not book smart. I don't think so. I read really fast but I don't book smart. I don't, I, I don't like studying. I hate school which is why I only got a undergraduate degree. I'm not going back to get my master's. No, not for me. PhD? Nah. No. But then again, what do you guys think is the difference between a geek and a nerd? Like, is there a difference? Is it the same thing? Because I don't really want to say, I don't really necessarily think they're the same thing. I kind of think they're kind of separate. Geeks are kind of cooler than nerds, maybe? But nerds are smarter than geeks? Maybe not the same? Maybe the same thing? Well, whatever the case is, I feel like this is the year of the geek. With Big Bang Theory and, like, you know, Road Dart having Star Wars on his fashion runway, like, it's becoming cool to be a geek and you know comic-con has always been exploding you know new york comic-con is also exploding tickets sold out so much faster this year than anyone than every than any other com new york comic cons right kids you know how a couple years ago it was all about the hipsters now it's all about the geeks so i'm like oh yeah i'm such a geek i'm such a geek and i think that's a good thing like we shouldn't mock them we shouldn't be you know like oh you think you're a geek just because you started watching doctor who that's the blah 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 but i think so. but I feel like the geeking community is very loving and it's kind of like the nerd fighters on YouTube. Uh, this is obviously all stereotypes and we should not have stereotypes to anyone whatsoever but I'm just saying if you feel insecure about being a geek, let your geek flag fly and let your insecurities die. 